it's definitely a feel good story. And we are happy to share our story as widely as we can. Um, and the best place for people to go is to our website. They can look at the images, they can look at the bios of the women, and they can look at some of our videos. And anybody who's interested, either from the photography standpoint, from the model standpoint, or even just event coordinator, please reach out to us. Um, right now, of course, we're on in a holding pattern because it, particularly people in the disability community have to be very, very cautious. So we're really unable to move forward during this time. Um, but as soon as it's safe, we would really like to see the Bold Beauty Project everywhere because there is no city in the world or, or rural place that doesn't have photographers and doesn't have people with disabilities who could get together and create a show. Um, so we're happy to have interest from anywhere. One of our other plans prior to the pandemic was to get into college campuses. And we've had conversations with Nova Southeastern University, with a school in the Bahamas, with a school in um, Virginia. Because I think this is a project that lends itself really nicely to college campuses because everybody's there. So you have your photography students there, you have your Office of Disability there, and then they can pair up and they can do this either as an extracurricular project through one of the clubs or if this really you know gets some traction it would be wonderful to see it as a class and involve you know students from the writing from the social media perspective and to have students on campus with disabilities instead of you know looking at them and being gee I wonder what happened to them being able to go online and read their story and share their story and have them sort of be the campus celebrities so that's an idea that I'm particularly excited about. And um, I hope that you know, people who have affiliations on college campuses will, will reach out to us.